party wasn't so bad. Plus, all the money from the bar goes to charity, so somewhere a kid is getting a new pair of shoes all because I drank a Crantini. She was more than a few kids getting shoes compliments of Lois Lane, not that I was keeping track. Hey, mister, that was two hours and five cups of coffee ago. And okay, I was just, I was a little nervous. It was our first public outing as kind of like a couple. Emphasis on kind of. You wouldn't even let me help you with your coat. I held your hand. Only when you were taking hors d'oeuvres out of it. Tess seemed okay when she found out her top basement reporters are dating. Although not everyone was doing the happy dance when they saw us together. Ollie didn't have much to say. He left right after we got there. Oliver's gotten over bigger hurdles in his life than his friends dating. Ollie does a lot to get your head around. Clark Kent and Lois Lane. Who knew? I did. You know, Lois, we could go back to the farm and take a walk. I could give you Clark Kent's tour of the galaxy. Oh, Bill. The only planet you know about is the one that you read at the breakfast table. Okay, then. That was PDA number four on date number five. I'm just keeping track. I'm trying not to rush into this relationship like I've done before. Lois, well, there's nothing we'll be doing in five weeks that we can't do tonight. I know. It's just... This is the one. You're the one that I want to get it right with, okay? So... Night. Night. See you tomorrow morning. Don't worry. The galaxy will be there next week. Hello? Lois? Is she all right? I'll be right there. Lois. Clark. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have left you last night. This never would have happened. It's not your fault that I had a bad alternator, Smallville. Look, some psycho obviously wanted to get himself on the front page, and so he decided to shoot the ace reporter. What did he look like? Did you see him? Yeah. He was dressed up like Green Arrow.